Okay, we're back and it looks as if I have my Logitech camera, but for some reason it has reframed itself. So I'm going to um, zoom in so the corridor disappears and pan a little bit on the side. So it's better to my taste. Um, even change the white balance a little bit. How about that? I think that looks better. Keen to hear your uh, idea about that. Good. McCool says he got notifications. So we've got two people watching. That's probably McCool and myself. Um, so far, so good. We're streaming using the mobile phone over the mobile's Wi Fi. So I don't know how that works exactly. So it's internet to the mobile and then Wi Fi to the laptop. All right, so what did we do in our previous test video? We're going to replicate it pretty much. Uh, I gave you an idea of what we are planning on doing during these videos. That is um, reviewing of log lines, answering questions from uh, writers. And um, no, but that's it for now. I'm not going to tell you about the plans for future videos as yet. Disclaimer, I'm a, a story analyst, but I do not hold the whole truth so when i give you my review of a log line that is personal and i will keep it as much as possible a technique based rather than story um appreciation let me put it that way because that's you know that's subjective okay let's go to screen sharing this is logline.it when you're on the site you want to learn how we do log lines you go to our formula and here I explain exactly how we work. And if you want to figure out why we do this, you could go to the articles. Um, if you click on news, there are a few articles. Why loglines are important and so forth. All right, so we're going back to that logline here. When an assassin whose memories are wiped and persona reinstalled after every hit falls in love with his latest target, he must take down his employers to prevent his next reboot. It's a little bit cumbersome. Uh, it feels long, although I think the length is fine. Uh, log lines don't have to be 25 words or less unless the person you're writing it for re requires this. So if you are free to write a log line, um, then make sure that your story is clear. That is the most important criteria. So make it 100 words, but find a happy balance between um, speakability because I like to be able to read a logline like that out loud. So a quick review, we have a main character, an assassin. We don't know more about this character. There's no uh, psychological flaw, which also means we don't have a promise of uh, an arc, a, a character arc. So it's relatively vague and maybe not particularly interesting if you were to pitch this at a high level. So what sort of assassin? What's that uh, character's problem? What sort of character flaw or psychological dysfunction will they need to overcome in, this, in the course of the story? Now, um, their memory is wiped, persona reinstalled after every hit. That is not, that is not moral. They can't help anything. Uh, they can't help that. Now, the, the event is the assassin falls in love with his latest target. That's the inciting incident, that's the major event. So we've got two elements now, two mandatory elements of the logline, that's the main character and the event. What's the action? The action is he must take down his employers to prevent his next reboot. So structurally, all the elements are there. I can say that maybe we uh, would like to see a little bit more about the main character and the sentence could be um, structured a little bit more elegantly. And look, there are a few uh, reviews already, which is great. You could compare uh, Nier's review, uh, I think Nier's so far the only, and DPG, yeah, with what I've just given you. I'm pretty sure these two guys go into further depth. And it, it proves the value of this site. So if you want to test your concept, your story concept, why don't you go to logline.it and post your logline in the formula that we recommend and then uh, if you're lucky, you get one of these top reviewers to give you feedback to your logline. And we ask, uh, because it's all free, 
for free and you don't have to pay for this we ask a favor back if you could then also review two other log lines for each log line that you post um, i promised that i was also going to review or rather answer a question by a writer who contacted me that was brian backman let's go back to the full screen for this and Brian sent me a message via Facebook, which is always a good way of contacting us. And Brian says the following. Here we go. I'm a creative writing for entertainment student at Full Sail University. I'm designing my own episodic series and came across an article about the hero's journey portrayed for television and how it differs from how it differs from that of a feature script. My question is, would you have a mini hero's journey portrayed in every episode? as well as a grand journey over the course of the season. For example, in a 10 episode season, perhaps a call to action and refusal don't happen until episode three. So an entire episode can be devoted to the setup. Good question. And um, the answer could be yes. So yes, you can have a mini hero's journey in every episode and you can have a grand journey uh, over the course of the season as well. And you can have many, many more uh, interwoven because hero's journeys can happen on, on many levels that could be the, the full story across more than one season that could be a season arc could be a, 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 an episode arc or a multi-episode arc you could have a, a certain subplot uh, with a supporting character that runs over two or three episodes and that's concluded over that time and now they, they're not always complete hero's journeys in the sense that they have all the steps that you will read in the, in um, either the hero with a thousand faces by um, joseph campbell or the writer's journey by chris fogler but the the most important aspects of the journey are really a character who's confronted with change and they need to respond to that in some way or other and then as a result they themselves often change so i hope that's a valid answer or a workable answer um, i invite you to study lots of films and television and see how it is done in your favorite shows um one thing i forgot to say if you have an episodic uh type of television show or procedural they have individual uh mini journeys they rarely have arcs lately that has changed so you can have a more or less episodic show that also has a, a subtle hero's journey for one or more characters across the season but that's not necessarily the case all right that is it just quickly checking the questions on youtube and see if if mccool has a comment there yeah great sound is good he says um the audio deteriorated when i went picture in picture i know why that is that's probably because i have an, a different um microphone is that so no hang on do i have a different microphone yes i have a different microphone defined i'll change that right now so i'm going to make that the yeti and i've taken the other one out so then it should be better if i now go back to that screen sharing let's have a look see if that works on the fly saving now um hang on yes and all right so now back to screen sharing and hopefully that does not affect the audio quality this time around so i'm going to keep an eye on the live chat see if mccool uh answers there yes exactly software was switching mics in fact not the laptop but the um the video the webcam okay good so yeah and then we went back to the yeti with full screen but now uh, while we're picture in picture excellent good all right so i'm happy with this test thank you mccool um chat works audio works picture in picture works so maybe next time we do a proper real thing a real video uh, which means that i'll be announcing it and um, we may have a few more subscribers the problem obviously is that the t time of testing is over once we've got plenty of subscribers now now there's only a handful um and those are probably meetup members all right good for now 
thanks for watching this mini video test and we're going to close with our legendary steward department video created by Stephen Miao. Thank you, Stephen. See you next time.